Hey there, I'm JP and in today's episode of Fallout London we are going to visit the mysterious submarine that is right behind me over there and I am really excited for it for some reason because the only other submarine I know is in Fallout 4 Boston. I'm not going to spoil what is up with that because, you know, maybe you haven't played that game. However, I will continue Fallout 4 modded and or visit that submarine once we are basically done with Fallout London. Alright, also another thing that I would like to do, I don't think there is any combat in there or at least I think. So I'm going to put my cap on which gives me plus two luck, which in this case I got like 10. That sounds very good. Let's be careful here because I don't want to fall in here. I'm going to save it here because there have been a lot of planks that were basically traps. Oh, I don't want to fall in the water because this water is deadly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good. And this point I can go first person again. And yeah, my dog is fine, but... U96. Uh, hello, I see you guys keeping an eye on me, so So I think this is a German boat because this quest is called Das Boote von Anderen That is definitely German. Getting all of that stuff is a little difficult I'm gonna take my gun out. Let's see Otto Definitely German. And Hans, even more definitely German. Seid still. Habt ihr das gehört? Hello, who is there? Wieso sprecht ihr Englisch? Idiot. Remember where you are? Klar weiß ich das. Ihr denn etwa nicht? How could I forget? Finally, someone has found us. We're safe. Are they doomed? Es gibt Hoffnung für jeden, der danach strebt, sich zu verbessern. All right, I can understand some of these words because there are a lot of familiar words with Dutch and German. Ah, look, nuclear submarine. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to play it in here because I'm not sure if this copyrighted stuff. So I just want to keep it safe. Uh, quite a machine uh, you have in here. <laughs> All right, let's have a chatter with these guys. Hey, what's going on in here? Hello, I am JB. Who are you? What's going on in here? What is that smell? Let's just be kind to these German fellows. I'm Hans. That's Otto. And our tin friend sitting down over there is Helmut. We're just three Germans having a good time debating fun things like ontology and uh, epistemology. My apologies. I will strive to do better. I think they just don't speak German, Emmanuel. Lernst diesen Menschen Deutsch zu sprechen, bitte. Es ist ein Notfall. Ah, uh, excuse us a moment. Emmanuel, I am not too sure that's practicable. To learn a language is difficult for the biologically impaired. Die Grammatik schwierig sein, aber ihr müsst diesen Menschen über Goethes wahre Freude in einer echten deutschen Stimme aufklären. Maybe we should get to know our guest a little before assuming they would love German poetry. Unless you want to learn German. Well, I've been learning German a long time ago in school. Wasn't the best uh, with it. Okay, so why is the submarine talking? What is it saying? I already speak German. No, not really. I like to learn German. Let's do the first one. Uh, it's a long story. One we cannot discuss in present company. Don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. 
The main character is a pompous bully. Otto, careful. All right. In this case, I would like to learn German. Maybe we will get to see it in English instead of in German. Otto, no. I'm not sure Helmut is up to the task of teaching German. Und warum nicht genau? Ich verstehe, dass er sich legalisch fühlt, weil er unsere Diskussion über Natur und Realität führt. Aber... Emanuel, uh, you see, the difficulty of teaching us biologically impaired is that it can take a long time for us to learn such things. Even with a very experienced teacher. And Helmut is no teacher at all. Ich verstehe. Nun ja, in diesem Fall sollte ich wohl lernen, Englisch zu sprechen. I'm not sure our guest would be able to teach you English either, Emanuel. Well, maybe we got a USB stick somewhere. We can plug it in. <laughs> But why is this all about speaking English or German? What the hell are you guys doing here? But okay. I be willing to try. Let me think now. Grammar and structure are probably good places to start. I really don't have the time. Why does it matter? I have opened the door and leave now. You know, let let let's be kind. Is that same Ernst? I don't think this is possible, but I have another idea. Our issue isn't faculty. Emmanuel can understand what you're saying. But there is a component preventing him from speaking English. If we can replace his speech module, he'd be able to speak to all of us. Would you be willing to help us? You know, our main character probably doesn't know why the Germans are here, so let's be kind. Emmanuel would like to remind you that he's a bomb, not a submarine. What a wonderful idea this is. Oh. That was confidential. Uh, never mind. When you have the component, return here and I'll install it. Okay, very interesting. So yeah, maybe we get to know more and look a little bit of lore here. Which I wonder what that means. I know, you know, Germany's here. We're in Norway and all that good stuff is there. Even top here is Scotland, so I wonder what that all is. Oh boy, there's a whole area down there. Okay, so maybe focus on the objective first. Maybe uh, we will get sent down at some point anyway. Yeah, so we need to require a language module. Alright, again crash for a second there. Uh, in this case, let me see where I need to go to. Which is not far away, actually. A naval walker. Why does it look like a freaking bomb with legs? It's still in there. Go for it, boy. There are two naval walkers around in this area. I freaking thought so. That thing. Oh, yeah. Thing in this game. Oh no, it's seen me, it's seen me. Oh. Upton Berkey Headquarters. It is indefinitely in here. Oh yeah, I've been doing some trading at Thames Haven. We got about a thousand tickets and or I have decreased some of my weight. And sold a couple of things and gave all the important stuff to my dog. Let's see. Oh boy, look at this. What is this? A Robco industry type of deal? Oh no. Oh. Okay, they can hear me, but they not really seem to get over here. And I'm afraid of these guys over there. I'm also not sure if there's like a back door or whatever. So carefully, let's check out this stuff. Okay, we got an inbox. 
Hello Dave Sim, don't forget to log out once you are done for the day. The faulty post boxer. It is speaking about a self-learning system and that the system would never harm anyone. If I reply. And they speak about the push boxer and that Dave is complaining about it, about the defense compatibilities, and that this person doesn't know how to rely on that. Okay, we got an outbox, post boxer. Oh. So the post boxer is a robot that hands out mail, but it keeps punching holes in the wall. Oh god. The type of robot. Why are we giving these machines the power to hurt people? And the last one. Okay, there is a hidden terminal inside a closet. So we're going to need to keep an eye out on that. Now gladly, these things seem to be melee type of deals. Yeah, they're definitely above me. Yeah, I can turn these guys off. God, what happened with my screen? My, my eyes. Uh, what is up here? Seems to be a machine that makes robots from Fallout 4. I think I need to use the elevator. I just see that right now. Now here comes my biggest question, if I cause trouble upstairs, will these dude downstairs wake up? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save the game and I'm going to murder them before they have even a chance to surprise me when I get back out of the elevator. What? Yeah, I am it. And identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. So these are called utility protectrons. Yeah, I'm wearing heavy. Oh, that just scared me off. Okay, not too bad. I was expecting much worse than that. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Shoot a couple of times, blast them in the face, hit them with the mace. Oh, there are five normal protectrons. So with utility, it's a malaria. Uh, uh, Put down your weapons. I understand, but you guys like stop. Yeah, I think. Damn, what is up with the light in this game? There we go. I think that is a door to the next room. And that is a uh, empty room, I'm gonna guess. Let's see this terminal here. It's not the same. Uh, inbox might be this. No, different. Dr. Pate sent the letter. She will be out of our way soon. Benny kisses a barb. That's different. Okay, we got three. Okay, they talk about replacing the legs for wheels. I don't use the terminal for personal use. And diner at the uh, bullion. Okay, okay. Let me have drafts, what that means. On the beauty of wheels, draft one. Okay, he's talking about giving them legs. Uh, isn't the wheel invented by humans? And they shouldn't look much like humans. And he's speaking to the members of the board. And more talking about wheels that are cheaper. Do 66% in material and construction cost uh, yeah basically it's all about you know these things are violent and Please clear the it's up with the light there we go it's so i don't know look it's getting all of a sudden freaking dark so let me just keep this thing on then even though it would betray me and then again even though these dudes already know that i'm here now we could go up uh however we need to be, I think, in this room, which we cannot go. We need to go by the other side. Oh, we also have that stuff. Another terminal. Oh, damn, that's a lot. <laughs> Subject, daily task. Here's some daily tasks, what they need to do. Uh, what did it say? Jimmy hats? Spam. Jimmy hats for sale. Your sexual health matters. Okay, well, you can just pause and read if you like to. 
Uh, I don't think I need to tell you what it says. <laughs> okay, subject, I understand your pain. Okay, someone is uh, overworking itself and so need to find a therapist. Find words. Password set for door access. Button, button, password for door. Apply. Um, identity. Password. Okay. Okay, all its details. Uh, I, I'm gonna assume I don't have to write this down. Um, it, wait, was it saying? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I don't have to remember that. Except for that the zero comes before instead of after, like on our keyboards. What the heck is this? An Atkins? Wow, this looks like a military robot. This is a lawful use of deadly force. Could you stop talking with your screwed up voice, thank you please? So my guess is we're gonna face these dudes at some point. Not sure if they are with the Tommies, which are the good ones, or if they are hacked and the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, I will be right at you. Go up, and the dock is up. So we have even more up. Now before I'm grabbing that, this terminal. Hello Sydney B, Frostwick, don't forget to log out here. Okay, group one. Oh boy, Rob Robo Margo group. Tests. I'm not sure if it speaks about doing tests on humans, but they speak about charisma chip. Uh, people that came here between 18 and 45 were a little bit shy. At first, they quickly warmed up. Rob calls charisma chip. I'm not sure if it, they mean chip like an actual chip, or that it means something else also in English. Then you can pause and read, of course, and tell me it. Talking about subjects, female between 5 and 80. Something about sexual prowess. And so much money trying to sex her up. The hell is all this stuff? <laughs> okay, you guys really need to read this for yourself because this is a really strange story. Alright, this is very odd all. Alright, let's pick up this language module. Now we could go back, uh, but we are here, right? And I wonder who is talking to me the whole time. No, they are not. Please do not jump down because I'm stuck in a corner here. Toilet. <laughs> Put down your weapons and submit to authority. Oh, no. Okay, that is gonna take a long while. I don't want to go up there. This is sneaky of the, uh, the waters. Okay, there is like a yellow one. Door over there. Yeah. What? Did I not watch my health or did this thing just one shot kill? Put down your weapons and submit to authority. He's shooting railway spikes. Yeah. Okay, I could. Oh man, I wish I... Wow. I did not want that in my face. This whole process here took me about 30 minutes, if it wasn't more. Oh, that was a good one. I, I think I am freaking lucky out here. So I got a remote. I seen earlier thinking that was a, uh, a stealth boy or something. Ah, uh, this is... Yep, okay. Alright, communications terminal. Let's continue the game. <laughs> I like how this fallout is, is just... London is just way more difficult. Okay, slogan proposal by Mary Holden. Uh, something about marriage. I do not completely understand it. Yeah, this is the reason why private and work should be... <laughs> a separate thing. Okay, I'm speaking about development of a new project. The financials are sore. And he thanks the board for patience. Should go on. Send the message to the wrong person. Complain about. 
very bad. And they're uh, using the post boxer into a defense project for a military use. Almost sounds like like a move where they seek stuff and then all of a sudden they press the button and doomsday everything comes alive and start murdering humanity. Waiting money to put out the project sooner rather than later. That was job. Okay, there's a lot of reading this episode to do and uh, a lot of mixing between private stuff and uh, work which makes it a little bit messy no new messages outbox and i think ah uh, yeah on top it also describes the the people broken proposal or a long piece of text uh you can pause and read i i had enough of this uh <laughs> this stuff yeah at, at least you know i've been reading the uh, important thing about the robots hello hans otto ah sie sind zurückgekommen ja ik ben teruggekomen Bitte, meine Herren, lasst den Mann arbeiten. Können Sie ihn zum richtigen Anschluss bringen? Ah? Course, Emanuel. He's keen for you to get started as soon as possible. Oh, that was to say. Yeah, I could understand the first one and spoke back in Dutch, but uh, yeah. yeah, let's do it. Lead the way. Meine Herren, es gibt viel zu besprechen. Oh. If you would like to follow me. Yes, you will. Uh, yeah, we have much to talk, you were saying. Okay. Now, if you can hand me the module, I can install it. Yep. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, Emanuel. Can you say something? That's what to say. Uh, thoughts without contents are empty. Intuitions without concepts are blind. Ah, excellent. Now we can all enjoy the fun. Morality is not properly the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. Do you have any questions for the great philosopher Immanuel Kant? Why do you think Hans and Otto are the only two crew members still alive? We do know. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you some this word questions. What is that you want? Hmm, not living, sacred duty. I think I know what it is, but yeah, let's do this one. You mustn't forget Helmut. No, please don't forget Helmut. Very simple. I noticed that in London, certain people, when exposed to just the right combination of radioactivity were able to meet it sufficiently to extend their lifespans seemingly indefinitely. I found myself capable of replicating this effect by leaking my contemporaries' fissile matter in a controlled manner. Given their willingness to engage, I exposed the only crewmates who were worthy of participation at the meager cost of emasculating a vegetative bomb. After all, if he's going to insist on being catatonic, then no point in wasting good nuclear material, is there? Uh, are you fucking joking? It's because of him? Otto, calm yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm getting with this stuff at last. So, what is it that you want exactly? Very simple. I merely wish to use my power for good. Do your duty, and let's happen what may. You are secure of your own happiness, but not of happiness itself. Morality is not the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. Therefore, I am obligated to carry out my sacred duty. Hey, what is your sacred duty? Uh, the, <laughs> the justification of nuclear weapons is as deterrent. A bit late to party, aren't you? Let me consider it a bit further. This is technically correct, but with one sizable caveat. You're assuming that our enemy is capable of retaliation. 
My many years of observation have led me to determine that while I cannot be certain of the nuclear capabilities of the British, what I am certain of is that they currently lack a unified, coherent command structure. However, this is changing, and forces are coalescing. Simply put, we may never find ourselves in such an advantageous strategic position as we currently are. It would be prudent to seize the initiative. Okay, we've got two more to go. Let's first do this one. To question life's most fundamental questions is to be a philosopher. So, on a certain level, to live is to be a philosopher, is it not? Of course it is. And that of one. Of course. Please don't. Goddamn him. Huh? Yeah, that's enough. Say okay, knowledge without reflection. Hmm. Reality. You know, what is the meaning of life? Rational beings necessarily conceive of their own existence as being ordered under the highest and all comprehensive condition of their possible existence as their ultimate end. Thus as being members of a possible kingdom of ends. Morality consists then in the reference of all action to the legislation that is possible only in a kingdom of ends. This legislation must be capable of being adopted by every rational being as his own will, and therefore as serving to establish a system of universal laws. This kingdom of ends is a systematic union of different rational beings through common laws. The moral law is the source of these laws, and hence also of the whole kingdom of ends. Hence the systematic union of rational beings through the moral law is the highest condition for the ultimate end of humanity, which is the highest good. The kingdom of ends is thus the highest good, in which alone the complete sum and bottom of humanity can be realized. Do you understand, or would you like me to explain more? <laughs> this is not... That my duty is a sick one. I am made an oath. A duty to defend my nation. But you'll kill us all at the very least. We're your fellow countrymen. The only ones you know are still alive, and you'd kill us for your own moral gratification? No. I am doing my duty. That is the only moral action I can take. But. I cannot use myself as a means towards an end. I must not. I... You did it? I scarcely believed such a thing was possible. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone and we are free. We cannot really offer you anything. After all, we've been trapped here for so long. But all we have is yours. I honestly have no idea. Neither do I, but isn't it fantastic? Years of banal drivel disguised as high-minded intellectual discussion? We are no longer bound to the gilded cage. Death to the machine. Now we can finally live a life with risk, love, death, betrayal, victory. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Oh uh, yeah, so long story short, these guys are stuck down here because of that machine. That's why I couldn't go away too. Or could I? Well, my German friends, good luck. Thank you for everything. Here is my service weapon. It's an antique at this stage, but maybe it'll help. I'm afraid that we cannot offer you more. Um, much appreciated. Hans flamethrower. Hans get the flammenwerper. Okay, it does increase amount of damage to move withdrawal effect you are suffering. Ooh wee! With a cigarette on top. Ah, and jet. Oh, the longer you look at it, the more you see what's wrong with this thing. Well, I hope I can see you guys somewhere again. 
Man, this was a little bit of um, a tiring moment for me because I've been reading all of these freaking terminals in the other building and then you have to go all through all of the dialogue again. All right, I'm just going to have a little look around. Oh, there we go. Electrical division card. Reactor maintenance. One spot left, I guess. There we go. Do I want to press this button? <laughs> Reactor maintenance ID card. Please don't murder me. Uh, oh, okay, doggo. Shit. Oh, there are a lot of these. Shit. Hunt. Oh, Hunt. What? <laughs> Hans. Ooh. Uh, Otto. What do you have? Holy smokes. Bro, it's coming. Another one. Oh, I need that. I need that. I. Ow. I need that, please. <coughs> no. Ow. Fuck. Am I safe here? No, I don't think so. Maybe here? Yeah, it's not doing nothing. Yeah, it's way lesser. Yes, finally, 186. Freaking XP on that thing. All right. Ooh, man, two of these things in one episode. And I cannot just murder in one hit. But you. Plus one charisma and intelligence. Sounds a bit better. Uh, so, you know what I'm going to do? Because this episode is going to be super long for me. I'm going to just leave it with this. And then next time we're going to start off uh, exploring the rest of this whole, whole show. And I think it's a good idea to go back to Thames Haven and stack up on some ammunition because I am afraid there is going to be a lot more of that stuff. Come on, Togo. Get some ammo. 